Hello everybody and welcome back to Clumsy Clairvoyance. To my left is this beautiful white spirit candle. Um, let's give some gratitude to this beautiful white candle that represents purity, love, purification, and spiritual enlightenment. Okay, my name is Sarah. This is Clumsy Clairvoyance. Like I said, if you have not been or if you've not seen the channel before, welcome. Like I said, my name is Sarah. I like to do random pick -a -dick readings. I also love the history. I love stories. I love fun facts, especially when it's anything to, to be involved with the spiritual realm as well. Okay. Now today's random pick a deck reading or pick a pile reading comes to you from Mary Jim. Okay. She is, um, a very sweet, very cool viewer who actually gave me a new idea and I'm always wanting ideas for, you know, pick a piles, pick a deck readings. Cause sometimes I feel like often a lot of times, you know, especially, you know, on these channels, we can get played out doing the same ones all the time. So I, for one, want to say thank you, Mary Jim. This one is courtesy of her, her inspiration. Okay. It, it is about what do you, what do you bring to the table to others? What can you offer others? What, you know, what attributes or what things do you bring to a person or to the world? You know, what, what qualities about you, how do you impact the world or how do you impact others? That's exactly how she put it. How do you impact others? Okay. So before we dive in, please take some mindful breaths. A spirit to guide you to your deck okay I also am going to be using the animal totem deck I felt like it was appropriate especially when we're talking about you know what we you know have to offer the world or you know what do we bring to the table what what fact you know what do we contribute to others that's a really good question right so with that in mind what do we contribute to others i please would like you to pick either pile one to my left red jasper pile two crystal quartz or pile number three this pretty sparkly pyrite okay and when you're ready time stamps will be listed below please make sure you like hit that subscribe and tune in okay let's go all right so for those of you that chose group or pile number one. This is my beautiful red jasper. Red jasper is actually a very great stone to have with you. When you are astral projecting, when you are in the astral plane, it will keep you grounded, protect you, and it will help drive your instincts. Okay. So let's see. Let's start with your animal totems. And let's see what you contribute to others. What is pile number one? Contribute to others. Peacock. Peacock! That's what she said. Just kidding. This is one of my favorite um, spirit animal totems. And I get it quite often. This deck is by Stephen D. Farmer. He's awesome. And this is all about your spiritual animal guides and the messages they have for you. Okay, this is about the, let yourself stand out and be noticed. Okay. See what else we got the camel trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you okay so right away i just want to say i feel like i'm sensing that you guys are very good at making people feel comfortable like in themselves you know you guys what you have to offer is you know uniqueness but also you have the ability maybe to um, bring that out in others, I'm kind of sensing. And then you got the platypus. <laughs> Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life, okay? So, again, I kind of feel like maybe you guys are these people that kind of can help people, like, get out of their funk. You know what I mean? Let's do one more for you guys. Good one. The elk, okay. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect that you deserve, okay? The elk. So I feel like you're almost kind of like you, either you embody this yourself or that you help others embody that about themselves, okay? Or both, okay? 
Now let's go to your Oracle cards and see what additional information we have for you, Group 1. What does Group 1 have to offer others or to contribute to others? What do they contribute to others and to the world? Group 1. I keep looking at your elk. It's pretty neat. It's a neat um, spirit animal to have. So group number one. Let me go for Surprise. Where they contribute to the world. All right. Ace of Cups. Okay. Control of how. It's, this is like happy emotions. Okay. This is like joy. Sometimes this could even be a new love affair. Um, But just like, you know. I just feel like you bring other joy. You help them get to that place, you know, of acceptance and love. Yeah, especially, okay, you got Knight of Rods too. I'm especially right away with you guys that chose group number one. That you guys, um, you stick up for like the defenseless. Like what you have to offer is, or what you contribute, what you have to offer to others is a sense of bravery, a sense of self okay sometimes this guy nine of rods could be seen as being defensive but i really don't see it this way i see you guys as just kind of like being your own heroes okay eight of rods you guys are with change okay uh -huh. and then comes the death card okay so accepting of change accepting of change five of cups okay this is of course so i kind of like the star card but i feel like with you guys this is like your guys's ability to help people who are focusing too much on you know the negatives in their life rather than the positives what you guys have to offer is fresh perspective but also you guys i really sense with you guys that you guys like i said like you guys counsel people but you guys also you contribute yourselves in a way that you guys can relate to people you know and the things they've gone through yeah knight of pentacles that's all about you know having to be alone yada 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 so group one that's what I feel like you guys totally, totally contribute to the world or to others, okay? And it's pretty awesome. So, if you like this, if it resonated, please hit the like. Hit the, hit the, please hit the like and subscribe. And please comment down below. I love to hear comments. I seriously, seriously do. And I will see you guys next time. All right, moving on to everybody that chose pile number two, this crystal quartz. This is a special rock or crystal because it stays with my traditional tarot, 78 tarot deck, 78 card tarot deck at all times. It's very protective, okay? And of course, crystal quartz in general is a natural amplifier. So I'm gonna start first with funny, with some of your animal totems, okay? Your animal spirit guides and what they have to say. What do you guys have to offer others? What do you guys have to offer others into the world? What do you guys offer others have to offer others? And what do you contribute to others? What do you guys have to offer others? What do you guys have to do in group two? What do you guys offer others? Chimpanzee. Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problems. Answers to your questions, okay? There's chimpanzee. Again, this deck is by Stephen D. Farmer. This is messages from your animal spirit guides. You guys also have the polar bear, okay? Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectively and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. Then the mouse. You're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what's going on. Okay, so right away, I feel like you guys, <laughs> this might sound funny, but like me, you might be a little bit clumsy or like forgetful, like especially with this mouse, like overlooking important details, okay? So pay closer attention. But for the, for the main gist of you guys, you guys are intuitive, you're intellectual, you're compassionate, yet you, you know, you're being asked to speak your truth respectively but I feel like that's needed with you guys I feel like um you guys might care sometimes a little bit too much what others think but what you're offering to others is respect and kindness above all I feel like a lot of you guys are probably really polite too to 
to a degree, you know? Now I want to go to your Oracle cards. What does group two have to offer others? What do they have to offer others in the world? Group two. Queen of Rods. Nice. Ooh, that's good energy. Kind of like I said, I swear in the Queen of Rods, she reminds me of my mom so much. So some of you might be a little bit too or come off a little bit too nice, but you guys are just kind. You guys are the ones who are, you guys are givers. You guys are like the charity workers. You guys are just so giving and so caring. King of Rods. Okay, so we got a pair. Interesting. So whether you're female or male, I'm getting that vibe, okay? Leaders, changers. Look, the chariot. Wow. Okay. This is also the card of Cancer. If you are a Cancer, this is your card. But this is about forward movement, okay? You guys are probably star seeds. What else do we got? Four of Pentacles. Okay, sometimes that's holding on a little too tight to the past. But what you guys offer is stability. Yeah, judgment. Okay, you guys, I feel like you guys have good judgment. And justice. Okay, yeah. So you guys definitely have, um, what you guys have to offer is definitely forward movement, but also you guys, what you guys offer to the world is forward progression, but also justice. You guys offer kindness and your work through, you know, charity, but you do that. And when you do, justice prevails. I feel like you're one of those people that maybe you feel as though that you would rather, you know, be taken advantage of being kind than not be kind at all. And then, you know, walk around not being kind just because you might get hurt. I mean, what would be the point of that? So that's it for group number two. I feel like you guys really do have your biggest thing that you guys have to offer. Not only your intuition and your intellect, but your truth. Just remember, you have to speak your mind sometimes, okay? Now make sure you please hit like, subscribe. That way I know you want to see future videos. Also, please hit that notification and subscribe. Bing, bell, below. That way I know... That you want to see more videos like so okay now moving on group number three those of you that chose the beautiful sparkly <laughs> pretty pyrite okay we're gonna go to your animal animal totem deck first see what your animal guys have to say to you now what does the ones that chose group number three what do they have to offer others and to the world what do they bring to the table, so to speak? Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, bad joke. <laughs> oh, you guys have my favorite animal in the whole freaking world. The humpback whale, okay. And this is all about therapy through music. You guys might be amazing musicians. That's really cool. Or you guys make really great music. You guys could be singers. You guys could play um, in a band, you guys could play piano, you guys could just, you know, sing, or you guys could be composers. What else do we have? The manatee. Interesting. Accept the situation to this. If I change it, okay. Old souls, right away. You guys got the humpback well and the manatee, like, right away. Since it's zebra. Oh, awesome. Okay. Like, over your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. Okay, so... <clears throat> You guys, right away, I feel like you guys are old souls. I feel like you guys are, um, what you have to offer others is freedom and music. I'm sensing, like, off the bat, especially with the zebra, because guess what? No two zebras have the same stripes. Let's go to this oracle and see any additional messages for you guys for group three. What do you guys have to offer others into the world? What do you bring to the table? Yes, four swords, four swords, solitude. That's why I said I feel like you guys are very old souls. Like you guys don't have a problem, you know, taking times for, um, you know, for rest, for meditation. You guys are very, um, very soothing, very calming to be around. Page of Pentacles. You guys are extremely, extremely probably intelligent, and you guys do your research. You guys might even be like history buffs or students. Okay. You guys also got page of rod interesting okay 
So you guys can be maybe excited when um, good news comes. So what you're offering to others is, is a voice because pages are the messenger cards. They are the ones who give us the messages. An eight of pentacles, hard worker, okay? So you are willing to work hard. What you are willing to give into a relationship or to the world is exactly what you would probably expect in return. I kind of get that vibe from you guys, but that's a good thing. Ten of rods, okay? So you guys help out others who sometimes have a hard time or have carry a lot of burdens. Let's see, one more card for you guys. Four of rods is joining of families, okay? So... Let's just say this right now. So group three, you guys are definitely like my old soul, probably the oldest of the bunch. You guys are messengers. Okay, what you have to offer others is your voice, your message. You guys are probably, are probably do well, work well with the throat chakra. And you guys probably, if you don't meditate, I would highly suggest it, especially with this four of swords. Okay, and the humpback will. Also, music is very important to you guys. I'm sensing that right off the bat. So definitely pursue that, okay? All right, guys. That's it for group number three. Please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Again, thank you very much for coming to hang out. And I will see you next time. If you do have a video idea, please do not hesitate to comment below.